Today's episode of The Bitcoin Show is brought to you by Mt. Gox, mtgox.com, and BitPay, bit-pay.com, and Meze Grill, M-E-Z-E Grill.com, and Cablesaurus.com, and bitbrew.net. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Bitcoin Show. Today, we are doing something so exciting. This is the actual opening of the Bitcoin conference. And no, this is not just any Bitcoin conference. This is the world's first Bitcoin conference and world expo, New York City, 2001. And we just launched it today. Some people got in on Wednesday. Some people got in uh, last night. We were partying till the wee hours last night. And uh, today, uh, oh, crepes this morning, but today it officially launched at noon. And so everybody arrived and the Only One TV studio is crawling with Bitcoin geeks. Like you just can't imagine these freaky people just converging on one location. So anyway, we decided to do uh, a live show real quick and uh, introduce some of these uh, freaky people that have uh, descended upon us now. <laughs> They're wonderful people. And uh, so we're going to give each person just a few minutes to introduce themselves, tell, them, tell us where they're from and why they're here and, and how they discovered Bitcoin and their life story in three minutes or less. So <laughs> joining me first is, tell us who you are. Uh, Ira Miller, uh, founder of uh, bitmunchies.com and the uh, CTO co-founder of btcinch.com. Bitmunchies and btcinch. Btcinch, that's right. And bitmunchies is basically the grocery store for Bitcoin. Uh, the grocery store, the, the store for all your staples, um, whatever you need. Uh, we, okay. We aim to anyway. It sounds like there's some competition in the works here. Oh uh, boy. Which is good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Keeps us on our toes. Yeah. And, uh, and then BT Cinch, tell us about that because that's the new thing. BT Cinch is, is uh, new. We are signing up merchants for our merchant services program uh, at the conference here. Uh, we are end-to-end -end merchant services uh, in addition to a full wallet. Uh, full online wallet service. Okay, so it's an e-wallet and merchant services. Which we, we think allows us to do one, uh, one or two key things, uh, instant transactions, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, if both are on the same side, then it clears instantly. Accepting dollars or bitcoins or both? Uh, accepting like, bitcoins. Accepting bitcoins and then paying the merchant in dollars or bitcoins or both? But, and either either one. one. Whatever they want. They get to choose what they want. When they convert it, they can convert it all instantly, 50% instantly. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, because yeah. you can set the percentages. Yeah. So I can accept Bitcoin, and then I can say I want 70% in dollars and 30% in Bitcoin. You can yep. set that. And That's it happens cool. instantaneously as soon as you receive it. So uh, a merchant doesn't have to have any market exposure. That's cool. I got a suggestion for you. Because this is something I, I've been meaning to talk about, but I don't get it on TV much. So I, one of the new wallet services has this feature, and I thought, wow, that is so cool. Every wallet service should do this. You listening? Every What's wallet that? service should do this. Are you listening? <laughs> Here, here's what it was. If you have bitcoins in your in your online wallet, mm -hmm. you should be able to select how many you keep in offline cold storage and how many you keep immediately available. Mm -hmm. So if it's offline, I, I could say I want all my or say I want ninety percent of my bitcoins offline cold storage. Mm -hmm. That means I don't necessarily have instant access to it. I might I might have to give them three days notice to withdraw them, mm -hmm. but they're offline. So if the thing gets hacked. I get mine back. Yeah. I like that. That's really smart, right? Uh, we are actually working on something very, very similar to that. I did not I, know that. I, didn't, <laughs> I really didn't know that. Uh, we're Give me camera one so we can... Oh, we already are. Okay, okay. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're uh, just waiting for the servers to get here and we'll have implemented... The servers? Servers. Uh, we need a few servers for this. Oh my honestly. god, that's yeah. so we cool. we got to have online one, offline ones. Uh, so yeah. I'll be able to control how, what percentage of, of my coins are offline in cold storage. Yep. So even if you get hacked, I get mine first. Okay, cool. I love it. All right, you what like else? You like that part, right? I love it. <laughs> it was my idea. I want a commission. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, too bad that wasn't really my it. idea. But I think it's a really good idea that I just heard recently, and I think every e-wallet should do that because, like, why not? Because yeah. like, the only reason to keep everything online is so that people can make instant withdrawals. But if I know it's in cold storage and I, I, I don't care about waiting three days to get it out, mm -hmm. I want it secure, then, you know, there's absolutely no reason not to do that. Yeah. And then the people that want immediate access, they're going to take the risk of having it live online. That makes sense. Yeah. And it takes you off the hook, too, because you know, like, yeah, hey, it's on you. Exactly. <laughs> we've, we've actually got three levels. We've got an intermediary level uh, where it's not connected to the, the server, uh, it's an offline wallet, but it's still, you can access your funds a little more quickly. So uh, it's B-T-C-I-N-C-H. Dot com. So it's B-T-C-Inch. 
BT. But it's BT, BT Singe, singe yeah. I know. Well, yeah, it makes but sense when you see the Either logo. way, yeah. it looks, it works. <laughs> cool. So that's going to be bigger than, than Bitmunchies. Uh, yeah, we hope so. Uh, <laughs> although we, we've uh, got some plans to grow Bitmunchies into other uh, goods as well. Uh-oh. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Look out. Here comes the competition. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thanks so much. Is there anything else you want to leave the, uh, the, the Bitcoin world with? Uh, any other any other breaking news or uh, uh, breaking news is this conference? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, you know, when when you said it's packed, you didn't you didn't do it justice. It is absolutely <laughs> packed to the walls here. <laughs> and we we got what three times as many people showing up tomorrow? I don't know. Don't hold me to it. I don't know. Probably right. Many? How many? Yeah, three times as many at least. Yeah. At, who knows? A lot of people can't make it today and that are definitely coming tomorrow for sure. Well, we're excited yeah. to be here yeah. and, and thanks for having yeah. us. All right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Okay, wow. so this is like real. Yeah, go if you would just watch this step and then um, Shack will yeah. mic up the next person. We're gonna we really, the next yeah, go ahead and switch to camera two. We're um, definitely doing this in reality show mode. So uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna interview each person one by one and uh, make our way through the crowd. So okay, hello, <laughs> nice to see you. What's your name? I'm Alex Thornton. Alex Thornton, cool. All right. Uh, I'm writing a book right now, intensively entitled uh, Bitcoin Billionaire. It's going to take a lot of the free information that's out there, uh, combined with my own opinion and analysis, and then uh, just put it out there in a book form so people can learn more about uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin Billionaire. Hang on one second. Do you, have, do you have a good audio for him? Okay, good. We're going to switch mics. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. So it's Bitcoin Billionaire or Millionaire? Billionaire. Yeah, it better be Billionaire. A lot of people <laughs> are already millionaires. I think and it people sounds are having... <laughs> see, well, I mean, like when it hit $30, it was more uh, like uh, uh, happening more often. <laughs> But I think that people were having secret millionaire parties. They weren't mm -hmm. telling people, but like secret little parties, like, guess what? I'm a millionaire, you know? Mm -hmm. But now, how long is it going to be before we have Bitcoin billionaires? Um, I think as soon as a year, we could have the first billionaires. Now, they may, may be the early uh, miners, so they mm -hmm. could be, choose to be anonymous if they want to. Yeah. Who is Satoshi? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> He's probably a Bitcoin billionaire. No, not yet, but of course, the economy is not big enough he to be He might be the first, though. Mm -hmm. could, oh, yeah. Uh, he would have to be, mm -hmm. right? How could he not be? How many Bitcoins does he have? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> able to find that information. <laughs> you got to research this stuff. So, so you're writing this book. So how long is it going to be before we, gonna, we can buy uh, it? Pretty soon. I've been working on it for seven weeks. I have about 110 pages written. Uh, my goal is either to uh, publish as an ebook, either when it hits 200 pages or when the price hits $30 again, so I can kind of ride <laughs> that, the coattails of the Bitcoin price going up. Cool. And then uh, after I... Uh, Print it as an ebook. I'll probably get a lot of feedback from people, and then finally print it as a uh, paperback through Amazon. Uh, mm -hmm. They bought a company called Creative Space, which allows you to print your book as a paperback on demand. So mm -hmm. instead, in the old days, you had to uh, buy five to ten thousand copies of books, store it in yeah. your garage, and pedal them one right. by one. <laughs> this way, you can put it up on Amazon. One at a time. Anybody can, yeah, buy yeah. it one at a time, and they'll print it for you. Slick. And mm -hmm. Bitcoin is such a hot topic. I know. There are a lot of people being contacted to write books and about all the different aspects. For yeah, people are just so hungry for knowledge. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Congratulations. Great. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Really, really appreciate it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. <Okay. How's> <laughs> Welcome. So tell us your name <sighs> and where you're from and what, what you're about. My name is Martin. I'm from Long, I Long Island, which is about an hour and a half away from yeah. here. Luckily for me. <laughs> <laughs> Took the train in. You didn't have to fly anywhere. I uh, actually drove to my friend's home who lives in Queens and oh. I took a train here. Perfect. I don't really have a specific message, but uh, I was kind of thinking that it's interesting that ultimately what will determine Bitcoin's fate is the community behind Bitcoin. Yeah. You no, know, it's not really the monetary policies. It's, it's none of that. It's the people behind Bitcoin. Yeah. If there's enough driving force to develop all the projects, to make it work the way people want it to work, I think that'll be fantastic. Yeah. Bitcoin is a bright future. And I'm feeling very pumped by all the, the people around here. Mm -hmm. A lot of great ideas flowing around. The energy. Yeah, and the it's energy so is great. So exciting, right? Yeah. I know, and then, and you know, I always say Bitcoin is the people's money. I know that sounds like very like communist or something, but it's not. It really is about the people, the people, and there's Definitely. nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. It's just so exciting. Absolutely. It's the exciting thing, the most exciting thing since the internet itself. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. I'm so, awesome. so great. Great to meet you. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow, if not later, tonight. <laughs> We're going out for drinks later, for sure. Hey. hey how's it going? <laughs> good, good, good.
Tell us your name. We got good mics, right? You can hear? Okay, good. Okay, tell us your name. Uh, Travel Perkins uh, from Travel. Boston. Cool. And um, I've been in Bitcoin for a couple months now. I'm a miner. My wife hates it. Mm, the electric bill. <laughs> the noise. Oh, the noise. Is it really the loud? Noise. I have two, like, like two really fans? big monster machines. So it's the fans that make the noise? Uh, fans, yeah, oh, the fans, oh, oh. like the blower, the blower style. Oh. Um, What's but, your electric bill? Uh, the big, well, we had that heat wave thing, mm -hmm. so it was hard to tell if it was the air conditioner or the big, mm -hmm. but it's... It, and the combination of the two, the, putting yeah, out heat on the air. About a, you know, about a hundred bucks, something like that. That's not bad, not jeez. It's cheap. My electric bill's like $800 here. Oh, right, yeah. Well, right, right. just for the, we get the whole floor, but still. Right, yeah. right. Um, but yeah. Um, How many, what do they call it? Giga hashes. That's what they measure it in, right? Giga hashes. How yeah. many are you at? So I'm like three something giga hashes. Wow. Yeah. That's three more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So have you generated a lot of Bitcoins? How, uh, how long have you been doing it? Um, I have about a hundred some odd plus Bitcoins. Yeah? Yeah. That's so, cool. Not too bad. Uh, no. Did you get your Bitcoins back? I did get them back, yeah. Excellent. I said that in the last episode, yeah. I wasn't going to announce it until all my friends got theirs back, but they have not gotten all their back, all theirs back. And apparently they've stopped refunding as far as I can tell. As of last Thursday at 10 o'clock, the last known claim that I know that actually got it back. So apparently they're reneging on even this 49% back. So I wasn't about to you know, give them the publicity that I got mine back and it's right. all, all good because it's not all good. But anyway, I think the they're community gonna be <laughs> at large, the, uh, the business community at large is very, like my, what Mount Gox did with uh, the polls, all that was yeah. great. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, just a quick announcement uh, in terms of what I'm working on. Uh, I have a, a project called uh, BTC Alarm. You can go there now. It's kind of behind the covers. It's sort of like an SMS solution for Bitcoin businesses to send out alerts, pay in Bitcoin. So there's what no is it? What is it alert going to alert me to? Uh, to uh, you just f found the block. You just got paid out from uh, BTC Guild or from DeepBit. Or oh. Your trade on Mt. Gox just cleared. Oh, all kinds uh, of things. You can put all kinds of different events in it and it'll SMS you. It'll just SMS you and mm. just, uh, everybody pays in Bitcoin. What about like, um, uh, like a merchant that just accepts Bitcoin through a plain old address? Can it just SMS them to say, you just received, uh, in the blockchain, you just received 13.86 13 Bitcoin? Right. Oh, so a merchant could you actually use this with a plain old Bitcoin address to say, bing, we just got your payment. Exactly. Now you can go use the self-serve fountain drinks or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Congratulations. So, that's but, exciting. Yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> All right, yep, yep, ditto, absolutely. <laughs> we'll, we'll hang out more later. Yes. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Fine, <laughs> thanks. What's your name? So, so my name is Manny Rosenfeld. I'm from Israel, and I'm currently uh, trying to be active in uh, developing the Bitcoin community in Israel. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to organize meetups, and I'm also running a business called Bitcoin for exchanging Bitcoins in Israel. Because mm -hmm. I think that uh, for bootstrapping Bitcoin, it's very important uh, to be able to buy and sell uh, for a uh, fiat currency, which is much more popular. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's uh, very difficult to, to do this. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the US, it's a bit easier, although it's also a problem. A little bit easier, yeah. yeah but, uh, but in Israel, if someone wants to have a, a place where they can just go and buy Bitcoins, then it would have to be one of the big exchanges. Yeah. And then doing a wire transfer internationally can cost some $40 in fees. And yeah. uh, it's very difficult. It's so a big hassle. Yeah. Even here, it's a big hassle still, but it's, uh, things are fixing. So it's, I see your shirt, it's Bitcoin, like yeah, Bitcoin with an yeah, L. It's a bit of a Bitcoin pun. Israel. Yeah, Bitcoin.co.il. So Bitcoin. Yeah, it? it's a pun, Bitcoin, but C-O-I-L. So okay, so yeah. what's the website? It's, uh, the, the, the URL for the website is Bitcoin.co.il. Bitcoil.co.il. Yes. Got it. Okay. And that that's is that that's an exchange site already? It, it's not it's not a marketing exchange. It's not like empty gox. It's just a service where people just come in and buy and sell. Buy and sell. Yeah. Okay, so you're do, you're just doing it for them and you're buying you're acting like a dealer or trader to buy and sell for people. Yeah. Yes. Cool. And what are the fees like? Well let's say uh, it's calculated based on a bit of a uh, 2.5 percent fee. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it varies depending on the conditions. So but people, local people in Israel can uh, buy and sell. Now, what, how, do they have to meet you in person or uh, No, I do banking? it via bank transfers. Bank transfers. Yeah, and of Is that easy in Israel? It's, it's fairly easy, yes. I mean, oh. most, most people, I mean, if you've never done it before, you need to contact your bank, to mm -hmm. bank about it. But once you do, it's 
fairly easy. You all banks have an online uh, system. Mm -hmm. You can just do it. It, uh, it costs less than a dollar in fees. And so you go by the rates, oh sorry, you go by the Mt. Gox last rate, is that what you uh, use? I, I'm, like I'm going by the trade rates right now, but trade, yeah. yes. So one of the, okay, and then um, is there a large or uh, a small community, Bitcoin it's community in Israel? Right now it's pretty small. I'm mm -hmm. working on trying to grow it, both mm -hmm. Bitcoin in general and mm -hmm. trying to market my own business. You came all the way to New York to do this, this is great. So are you in Tel Aviv? Uh, I no, I li happen to live in Chadera, mm -hmm. which is uh, near Tel Aviv. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't have a physical location for this business. I just oh, work yeah. from my home. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, welcome. That's very exciting. I love what you're doing over there. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank, thank you very All right. much. <laughs> Hey, I remember your face. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, Good to see you. Jeffers. Last time I saw you, you were like over here. Yeah, I was over there. <laughs> yeah, over there. I was talking about this wall. Yeah, exactly. The wall, the wall you matched the wall to your background. It it's a little different now. Yeah, exactly. You. <laughs> now yeah. you got harmonizing with your shit. It's Perfect. Yeah. So, what's going on with uh, ex exchangebitcoins.com? Exchange Bitcoins, Exchange B. Exchange B. Yeah, uh, what's yeah. going on? Our latest stuff, we've got you know our two factor authentication that is free. And instant. What's, uh, the two, what's the second factor? Is it physical or? It's actually using an app on your cell phone. Okay. You could also use uh, something on a command line client if you want, but uh, you can download an app for Android, an mm -hmm. app for uh, iPhone. Mm -hmm. That app will generate a key. We save that key. We save also a pin. Mm -hmm. And that's the only time that information ever has to travel. And after that, uh, anytime you want to generate OTP, you just type in your pin, mm -hmm. hit OK, and it gives you a you just add that to your password and Is that the same enabled. app that Trade Hill is using or is it a different one? No, it's app? a different one. Um, yeah. One nice thing about our, our solution is that it doesn't require a third-party <laughs> service. So mm. you can go ahead and download the app, uh, set up the two-factor authentication on our site within about five minutes and is it, it's is all Is it between. an open source app or something? Uh, yeah, it's called Mobile OTP. Oh, And cool. actually I would encourage others to to use it if they're looking it, yeah. for two-factor authentication. That's cool. Uh, because it's uh, actually a pretty nice little system. Very secure, open source is all, we're all about that. <laughs> and it's not even, there's not even a centralized uh, entity that, that's no really centralized. We, we store some information. Your phone stores some information. Mm -hmm. Now, if you lose your key and mm -hmm. you have OTP, we've got a process to recover. We're probably gonna give you a call mm -hmm. cool. or, or at least verify yeah. with email. Yeah, and there's so. and another side benefit is that there's no fees. At no all. fees, no fees, yeah. no shipping anything. We nice. don't have to buy anything. There's nice. no. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> so nice. it, you know, we looked yeah. at a lot of solutions, and uh, that's I think a great it's option. That's, it sounds it's like. working out well so far. Yeah. Haven't done any inventory on how many people are using it yet, mm -hmm. but uh, we liked it so much. You can't tell how many people are using it. Oh, we could. Oh, but, but we just, just haven't, haven't done that. Haven't done now. We're busy. You know. We're busy. <laughs> <laughs> We're busy in plenty yeah. other things. Yeah. So our, our our other thing, which is bigger, I think, mm -hmm. is that we are accepting cash deposits. Yeah. Check deposits. Yeah. We talked <laughs> about that. <laughs> we talked about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um and that's been going well. So so basically, if you want to uh, buy bitcoins today mm -hmm. or maybe tomorrow, uh, you can <laughs> go and deposit cash uh, or mm -hmm. check at one of our partner banks. And, yeah, uh, because we were um, talking about actually a lot of people coming to the conference mm -hmm. and we we're charging tw uh, $26 worth of Bitcoin. Yes. And they're like, can I pay cash at the door? And we're like, okay, well, finally I had to say yes because people are coming from Africa or whatever. They can't <coughs> buy Bitcoins in Africa mm -hmm. yet. So yes. I said, okay, fine. Well, I mean, Manny's going to be out there with his, his phone like trying to like scalp some Bitcoins out there uh -huh. before the head of the line, you know. You <laughs> can buy some ahead of time a, and sell them at market rates. Capital, that's, that's, capitalism that's at work. Decent, sure. But you can also go to... Well, any Wells Fargo branch. Right. Wells Fargo. And what's the other one? Or Chase. Or Chase. And Wells I, Fargo or Chase. That's every bank yes. in the whole city. I stopped by the hotel this morning. There's a Wells Fargo across the street. Yeah, there's one right here, too. They're <laughs> everywhere. Oh, and they're everywhere. And yeah. Chase is even more. In they're Manhattan. Every, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, obviously, you can find those. And they, but they have to go, they have to arrange that with you on the site in advance. That's is it automated? Right. Or? That's right. You do a reservation. Mm -hmm. So you're going to tell us how much money you want to deposit. Mm -hmm. And then we'll say, okay, we might decrement it by a penny or two pennies or something just to make sure it's a unique amount. Mm -hmm. uh, then you do the deposit, you take a picture and email us the picture of your receipt, mm -hmm. and then we can match that up with the transaction and we can fund your account. I just That sounds just, like manual. Is that a lot of work you have to go through? Uh, for now, it's, it's fairly manual, mm -hmm. but the response has been good, not overwhelming. Uh, but but good and, and growing. So we'll once you really get ramped up where it's yes. too much, you can uh, hire a remote assistant mm -hmm. in Uzbekistan and pay them in Bitcoin. <laughs> and I and actually have a, I have a remote assistant in, yeah. in Namangan, Uzbekistan, really? and one in um, 
uh, Mansura, Egypt. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mohammed and Oybek, hey. And so they, they work here. Yeah. But via Skype. And sure. they could do that. They could look right. at a picture and verify it and do things like that Certainly. if they're trusted. You yeah, know. There's, and also there's some ways to connect to bank accounts that are like, like what you can do with Quicken, right? Yeah. So you can do that sort of stuff yeah. in a professional capacity. Maybe you could do like uh, like the, the sense, like uh, if it's $1,000 in four mm -hmm. cents, so you right. like, you give the two-digit code as an extra Absolutely. thing. Well, I mean, well, what we are doing is this one person makes a reservation for 100 bucks, second person comes along for the same bank, 100 bucks, it's mm -hmm. going to be 99.99, and we'll credit you the $100 yeah. minus a 1% fee. So we're charging a 1% fee for 1%. cash deposit uh -huh. uh, with a $1 minimum on the fee. So mm -hmm. if you deposit 50, okay, it's 49 <laughs> going in. But this is reasonable. Mm -hmm. This is today, you know. So. One percent fee, and then then the exchange fees. Well, are yeah, then you're going, you're going trade. Yeah, that's a separate. Okay, a separate like one percent. That's not much. I mean, if you wire the, or something for the time. I mean, I've I've just watched a video the other day that was somebody saying how how much they liked this feature because there were times they wanted to get in to the market right now, and yeah. what could they do? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're no choice. Dwala, <laughs> wait a week, <laughs> wire, wire reverse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. We're, we're pretty happy about that feature. That's going to be very, a, very a cool. One. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for coming. Sure, Can't wait. We'll hang out more later. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> <coughs> hey. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Tell us your name and where you're All from. Right. <laughs> uh, my name is Matt Hendrickson. I am from Sweden. I flew in yesterday. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, I wasn't sure this is going to be the big, as big as it t turns out to be. Neither but was I, I. Would, didn't want to take any chances. So <laughs> right. here I am. Great. So yeah. you came, you flew all the way in from Sweden. Yeah. Why? I'm a, a software programmer for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been lately interested in cryptography and peer-to-peer -peer networks and stuff. Mm -hmm. My free time. And then suddenly I bumped into Bitcoin in yeah. October and I thought, you know, wow. Are you developing, are you mining, or just uh, uh, I tried investing? mining a little bit, but that's, no. That yeah. I'm, I'm uh, exploring ideas with some friends, so, you know, trying to f figure out a good startup. Development projects? Or, oh, yeah. startup, yeah. yeah. So many, but this is, the, this is a, a hotbed of ideas. Like, yeah. everybody's throwing around yeah. ideas and yes. even capital and that yeah. is available and things like that. Yeah, that, that, you know, be. I figured out a good quote from, from uh, have you seen the, the, the film 2001? Space Odyssey? Yeah, you know, there is this. I'm not old enough, this, but well, I think there, I've seen it. Suddenly there is this quote, oh my God, it's full of stars. You can, you watched into this. And <laughs> that's what I figured, too, figured out too. Suddenly you can start programming with your own money. Yeah. And it's only been banks that have been allowed to do that before mm -hmm. and suddenly any, everyone can do that. Everyone can be, can be a bank. Yeah. Which is a little bit, a little bit dangerous too because it's like the wild, wild west, you got wildcat well, banks, but still. Of course, yeah. That's the fun of it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> you know, I think for a while it seems like the Bitcoin economy is inventing the same kind of things that exist in like normal money. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, you know, in, in a year or so, I think lots of, it's going to be exploding, you know, really cool stuff around Bitcoin. Yes. A year or so? What are you talking about? It's happening in a week or so. <laughs> Bitcoin time, we were saying a, a day is a week and a week is a month oh. and a year. I mean, a month in Bitcoin time is like a year. If you missed, like I actually had a phone call from some guy and he's uh, so, talking about, I was talking about the, the price of Bitcoin. I'm like, it's gone up so much. And he's like, what, what do you mean? I said, how much was a Bitcoin last time we met at our mm -hmm. meetup or whatever? He said, I think it was 23 cents. I'm like, you haven't seen the price. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh my That's gosh. True. Yeah, yeah. Things change so freaking fast. Yeah. It's like phew, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it's putting everything on a different scale of time. I, I don't even give it a year. I think it's going to really, literally, it's going to be absolutely per as pervasive as MasterCard Visa in less than 12 months. Less than 12 months. I really do. That's, that's what I, my prediction, which I'm pulling out of thin air, you know, based on we'll nothing. See. There is a lot <laughs> of software around normal money too. And yeah. so Bitcoin has a lot of catching up. Yeah, but these same <clears throat> minds are behind it and they're even more enthusiastic about it. They're not just you know, on the payroll of a big bank. They're actually really excited about it and mm -hmm. they're developing it nights and weekends and probably even on the job when the boss isn't looking. They're, they're looking, they're so invested in it, mm -hmm. not only emotionally, spiritually, philosophically, and monetarily. They're yeah, invested true. in it in every way. The smartest minds on the planet. Yeah. So exciting. Well, welcome. All right. You came you. a long way yeah. to be here. So happy to, that, you, that you joined us. <clears throat> Hello. How you Hello, doing? <laughs> What's your name? Brian. Brian. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, I'm originally from DC, but I uh, come up, came up from Philadelphia. Yeah? 
Okay, cool, cool. And you, we, I remember now, we, you were telling me you're, you're st- you want to start a meetup in Philadelphia and get the Philadelphia. Do you know anything about uh, uh, meetups or uh, a Bitcoin community evolving in Philadelphia yet? Uh, it's sort of coming about from uh, both the uh, like uh, startup sort of uh, programmer hacker co- uh, community mm-hmm. and, yeah. and it's also coming from uh, the uh, libertarian community yeah. and uh, Philadelphia has a... Uh, pretty uh, extensive libertarian uh, community. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's birthplace of our country and all. Yeah. Well, it's a big city, and I think that there are there are probably lots of people in it, they just haven't met each other. So that's why, yeah, we were talking before, I said I was encouraging you to go mm-hmm. ahead and do the meetup.com for Philadelphia. You know, mm-hmm. I'll give you the seed money if you need it, but you start that meetup because it's like magic. When we started the meetup in New York, it's like, boom you know, 30 people, and every time it's a different 30 people because they just mm-hmm. get so excited and they launch all these. We launched the hackathon and the promotathon and now the legal think tank in, is in formation. So you'll just see, if you do a meetup, it's like, it's just gonna explode because that's what people need. They just need a, a focal point to come together because they're already there. They just mm-hmm. don't know each other. So that's really exciting. How can they get a hold of you? If they're in Philadelphia, how can they get a hold of you to, um, to get involved? Uh- is there a way? Let's see. Uh, you want to give out your email address to the whole world? <laughs> probably not. I think it was, uh, but I okay, just write one to me. for the group. If you're in Philadelphia, write to me and I'll forward the mail to, to you. Uh, or look on meetup.com and there will probably there be, be, by the time this airs, a, a, a meetup group. Oh, that gives you like about 30 minutes. <laughs> so we better get to work. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Likewise. Thanks for being here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, good, 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 good. Come on in. It's good to finally meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, we got, you have to sit on his lap. like oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> We should have pull another chair. It's Welcome, okay. guys. How are you doing today? Good, good. Tell us your names and where you're from. My name's uh, Justin Weeks. I'm from uh, Bitcoin Solutions. Mm-hmm. Cool. And I'm David Blum, also Bitcoin Solutions. Cool. And you guys are in Long Island, right? You yes, guys. we're located in Long Island, New York. Cool, cool, cool. So tell us what's Bitcoin Solutions. Bitcoin Solutions is a conglomerated situation. We want to open up a, a whole range of product offerings so somebody has a one-stop solution to get into the Bitcoin community. Mm-hmm. Right now, we uh, have a merchant services solution, which we're currently working on, mm-hmm. along with uh, POS integration for retail establishments who wish to accept Bitcoins and the ability for them to either get cash at the current market exchange rate mm-hmm. or, as well, the ability to get Bitcoins if they want to keep on the Bitcoin network and not mm-hmm. keep it just a general situation. Sure. And how are you going to do that? Like, are you going to like um, partner with an exchange or have your own exchange? Or we're also going to have our own exchange. Like mm. I said, it's going to be a, a one-stop solution. We mm-hmm. currently uh, eat our own dog food. Mm-hmm. As far as mm-hmm. API integration is concerned, we yeah. run uh, BitcoinCashOut.com, mm-hmm. and we do most of our testing on BitcoinCashOut.com, mm-hmm. and we offer prepaid credit cards for sale so people can cash out of the Bitcoin community. We have another service launching, BitcoinBuyIn.com, which will allow you to purchase Bitcoins through credit cards, check, wire transfers. Bitcoin things buying? That, Bitcoin buy-in. Oh, buy-in. That's correct. Okay, dot com. Okay, okay. And that's another service we're launching. We're also going to have mm-hmm. a zero-knowledge wallet service, which allows you to have Bitcoins on an online wallet, but not give away your private keys using mm-hmm. a nice little bit of cryptography so mm-hmm. we can't spend your coins. You don't have to trust us. We're not asking you to trust us. Mm-hmm. We're just going to be providing that service mm-hmm. so you can have very easy access along with merchant services integration. Even if they're not technical? Like, how do I get my private keys to you when I want to spend Even it? Even if they're not technical, they'll be able to generate private keys in a JavaScript environment, mm-hmm. and you can actually inspect the code to make sure we're not doing anything funky and we're not getting mm-hmm. your private keys and you can keep your public keys so we can offer you the merchant services solutions. Smart. See? So you think that uh, Bitcoin's coming to point of sale? Like everybody's doing Bitcoin point of sale and secure wallets. Do you think it's coming? It's everybody's working on this. It's great. The best minds on the planet are on this. And it's so, so exciting, right? And, there's, and you don't have to worry about competition because you know what? There's enough merchants out there. That, you know how many you know how many merchant processing companies there are to the new MasterCard Visa alone? There, you could have a million of them and they all are very prosperous. So that's congratulations, very that's Thank very you. exciting. And we're neighbors. You better make, right. not make yourself scarce. You've got to come in. You'll see us hang out. Again. You'll yeah. see us at the meetup. So. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Thanks again. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Or see later. you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me take a break really quick. Um, you can come on in. But um, I want to thank our sponsors really quick because, of course, if it weren't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be here. And uh, you know who they are. Mt. Gox is the, uh, the, the leader in um, the, the largest exchange in the world for Bitcoins. 
and they now take euros and Great Britain pounds and Australian dollars and Canadian dollars and um, euros with their acquisition of Bitomat. Um, some major exciting news I can't tell you about yet, but we'll stay tuned tomorrow. And um, what else? Their mobile app, Mt. Gox Mobile, is really exciting with their voucher codes. You can spend um, and transmit with just a quick beep. You just transmitted Mt. Gox US dollars and or uh, Bitcoin. Super, super simple. It's completely free and it's in the Android market called Mt. Gox Mobile, which is really exciting. And of course, the UB key, which is the USB security device for um, uh, two second, what is it called? Two-factor authentication. <laughs> and so um, it doesn't matter if your computer is Windows and it's ridden with viruses. It won't affect anything because the wallet is stored on Mt. Gox. And the viruses that capture every single key stroke you type won't matter because the UB key puts in a password that's only good for one second. So when you touch that button, it puts in a secret password and the virus can capture it all at it it once and it can't actually access your account. So it's very, very secure. And Mt. Gox is very, very profitable, which means that they have an incentive to be around. They're not going to go away. They're not going to pull a mybitcoin.com or anything like that. These guys are in for the long run. They have been hacked and they, they had to shut down and they had to fix things and improve their securities, but they're resilient. They're back and they're strong and they've been on the show and, um, and they are, obviously, they have the market share, they're trusted by the community, so we thank Mt. Gox. And also, BitPay, <clears throat> bit-pay.com, are uh, new kids on the block when it comes to merchant processing for Bitcoins. They have solutions for your website. Obviously, they uh, integrate with your own shopping cart solution you already have, or they have a, a simple shop shopping cart uh, integrated into the thing. So if you're, you know, if you have a very plain vanilla website like me and you're not technical, you can just paste in a little snippet and you've got your items. And they, it's basically, it's just like a Google checkout, but it accepts Bitcoins and it's brilliantly easy. That's what we're using uh, for registration at the, the Bitcoin conference. So we thank BitPay and Meze Grill, of course, M-E-Z-E grill.com, world's first brick and mortar restaurant. What other kind of restaurant is there really besides a brick and mortar? I guess there would be a delivery. Anyway, the world's first restaurant to accept Bitcoin and the best food uh, south of Columbus Circle. Anyway, and they're fantastic, delicious, healthy um, Mediterranean food, and they accept Bitcoin, and they sell Bitcoin. You need to get some Bitcoin when you're in the city. Three blocks south of Columbus Circle, they now sell Bitcoin, 6% fee, $1,000 limit per person per day, and that's not negotiable. Don't try and negotiate with them. Uh, go to somewhere else if you want to buy Bitcoin and negotiate. But they have the best food. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, six days a week, long hours. And Cablesaurus.com, a new sponsor, has everything you could ever possibly want when it comes to specialty mining gear, gamer supplies and equipment, and all sorts of PC supplies. Um, thousands of satisfied customers, and they accept Bitcoin and dollars. Cablesaurus.com and Bitbrew.net. Bitbrew.net, Ed's favorite coffee. He's a coffee connoisseur. It's the only coffee he allows anyone to drink at Only One TV. <laughs> and this is before they became a sponsor. Um, and they were, it's just fantastic. He ordered some of this a long time ago, and that's the only coffee we drink. And now they're a sponsor. So I can uh, uh, happily say we love Bitbrew.net. They are... Um, you know, the delicious, delicious coffee. All coffee orders are roasted to order, guaranteed freshest and all that. They have organic and fair trade coffees, all kinds of exotic varieties. And uh, everything is sold exclusively for Bitcoins using static pricing. And what is it? The gift bags. And the gift bags. Yes, the gift bags. The conference tomorrow, they actually shipped us cases of this BitBrew coffee. So everybody is going to get, well, at least until we run out, everybody's going to get a bag of uh, BitBrew coffee. And we thank them for that. So thank all of the sponsors, if you would, you know, send them an email or call them up and just thank them for supporting the Bitcoin show, show because if it wasn't for, for our sponsors, obviously, we wouldn't be here. So <laughs> we're very appreciative of them. Hey. So, and we're back. So tell us your name. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, Bruce. Good to see you. Good to see uh, you. I'm Stephen Wagner, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. And uh, I uh, run a site called HowManyCoins.com, so I brought in a little flyer here. I thought this was like a Scientology Dianetics handout yeah. we got in Times Square. <laughs> What is this? It says HowManyCoins.com, money for the internet age, no central bank, learn how the global new... Could, so this is like, tell us about it. What is it? HowManyCoins.com? Well, well, I mean, basically how it started was, I, you know, I was, I was sharing uh, Bitcoins with so many people and I was doing a word of mouth and I was okay, well, I have to send you this link and I was emailing all these links to people and um, there's so much great information out there and uh, I was trying to get everyone the best information possible. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to put it all together on a website so that I could just send them one link and get them everything they needed. Um, there's lots of great videos on there as well, 
And um, it's a general purpose informational yeah, portal. Exactly. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the word out there to people and, oh. and educating people about it. And the right. reason I'm doing that is because it really helps to know your market and know your audience, know who you're dealing with. And mm -hmm. I'm going out there and talking with big investors too. Mm -hmm. And um, like after I'm here in New York, I'm flying out to Las Vegas, and then I'm mm -hmm. going to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people in the precious metals markets who are really interested in getting into Bitcoins. Mm -hmm. um, and, but they don't understand the technology. They're not understanding the market so much. So I'm getting out there. I'm doing the market research and, and getting back to them with the data and, and, and getting some information cool. on how it's going. Cool. It's so exciting. So exciting. Yeah, yeah, the more information, the more education, the better. Boy, we need it. <laughs> yeah, I, there's so many people. I mean, with, with gold and, and silver, you know, these things have been out there for a long time. So people who are interested in hedging into the precious metals right now, well, it's already a known field and investment. But this mm -hmm. is a brand new field that's breaking open right now. Yeah. So people don't know what these things are, and there's a huge market to be tapped into. Are you finding that people in, the era, in that realm, are, are they already aware of it at least? Have they heard of it? A lot of people at this point have heard of it. A lot of people said, mm -hmm. oh yeah, Bitcoins, I read about it. You know, it was in a major That's newspaper. So cool to hear that. Someone mentioned it, but there's a, so many unknown variables and they yeah. don't know how it's gonna go. They're concerned yeah. about, you know, is the volume there? Will I be able to get my money out? Yeah. Um, you know, how stable is the technology? Um, and it's, no, one, no one has any, any really big, any mm -hmm. big doubts that are like, uh, that they see anything wrong with it. It's mm -hmm. just unknown, yeah. so people need to be educated. That part doesn't surprise me, but the, uh, the fact that more and more people already heard of it, I love that. I love yeah. the fact that when I tell somebody about Bitcoin, they've already heard of it. Right. Oh, that is so cool, isn't it? Yeah, because then they have, cool they have their eyes on it at yeah. that point. That means they're already, it's already on the radar. They're going to be watching, and as it starts taking off, that's when they're going to want to be jumping in. Cool. Yeah. Are you getting a lot of hits on, on, on howmanycoins.com? It's, yeah, it's definitely, it's starting to heat up Coming for up. sure. And um, cool. I, you know, I printed a couple hundred of these flyers and I was just out at uh, the Beloved Festival last week in, in Portland and passed a lot of those out there. I had a, a ton of interest. Cool. And um, you know, this is a really great way to spread the word to make some materials. So I'm looking mm -hmm. at putting together some more materials and probably cool. putting some PDFs on the website. Cool. So that people uh, can just download the PDFs and, and go mm -hmm. around and you know if you have any um, local uh, restaurants or shops that have community bulletin boards, mm -hmm. that's a really great place to put a little information mm -hmm. about bitcoins. Mm -hmm. um, I've been going into the, some of the stores. I put three of these up there, and I come back the next day and they're gone. And people are like, "What digital current digital cash? What's this? <laughs> I need to learn about this. This is new." Very cool. Yeah, sometimes the low tech things like a pin board are, are the best. It just it's great. Yeah, yeah. You use everything. You use everything at your disposal at your disposal, high tech, low tech, whatever it is. Yeah, and, I, and I'm really interested in getting this information out there to the people who aren't into technology, because mm -hmm. I want to enable a lot of different uh, parts of society to yeah. be able to get involved in this. I don't want to be just dominated by one, by yeah. one section. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who really want to see this change in the world. A lot, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks, great. Uh-oh, I know this guy. <laughs> how hey, you how you doing? <laughs> This is a Bitcoin celebrity. Here we have Stefan Thomas. Well, he's the Bitcoin celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you to town? You got they had to get the keyboard out of your hand to come over here without a keyboard. I don't know. It, it was pried, pried, pried <laughs> off with a, with a crowbar earlier. So all the way from Switzerland. All the way from Switzerland. Uh, I was actually I've got a bit of a, a story to tell from uh, when I arrived at the airport. So yeah, tell us. I, I'm coming. I'm going through customs. And the guy at customs, or what's the purpose of your visit? You know, like usual. Oh I'm no! Like, yeah, if you didn't answer him, I said uh, become <laughs> conference, right? I'm like, N no big deal, right? So, uh, and he's like, okay, I'm typing into his computer, and we're doing all the stuff with the fingerprints and everything. And then at the end, mm -hmm. he goes, um, well, I'm all in favor of gold, but I think this Bitcoin thing goes a bit too far. <laughs> and, but all smiles and stuff, yeah. Oh my and god! I'm like, They're Holy. aware of it. He knows it, you know. He, but it was obviously a private interest, right? It was not, mm -hmm. not like that they were mm -hmm. investing, or anything. But it was mm -hmm. like. It was awesome. Like so many people just know about it now. It's everybody, like, everybody. Well, Gavin was summoned by the. No, I should say summoned. He was actually hired by the CIA to come and do a technical talk about Bitcoin to the CIA. Yeah. There are geeks everywhere, and they're not just geeks. They're, they're geeks, and they're they're technologists, and there's uh, libertarians. They're people for political reasons, or just freedom loving people. People who just love freedom. Yeah. And the the, the freedom that uh, that Bitcoin gives. To the monetary world um, that is free of like the tyranny of governments and banks and central issuing authorities of any kind. It's just 
such a yeah, beautiful I don't know, thing. I don't know if I would call it tyranny. I mean, that's a bit, you know, yeah, I'm, know, always, I'm trying to be all diplomatic about it. Yeah, I know. So, so basically, Those are way, my words. Yeah, the way I, the, the <laughs> way I would uh, put it is just like, it's a more competitive uh, market. It's a more competitive way to, uh, to, to handle financial transactions, to, to mm -hmm. create a financial system. Yeah. And every time you get competition, I mean, you can see it with the internet, you can see it, you know, with all these new technologies. Um, you get really good companies that, that provide a great service. And I think the same yeah. thing is what's going to happen with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why, you know, we're so excited about it, I think. I mean, the old economy, money, MasterCard, Visa, PayPal, all that. Um, there's, com there's plenty of competition. Right. But that's the difference with Bitcoin is that there's no central authority who can just manufacture yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, the, the barriers to entry are much lower. Yeah. Like, you can start a new Bitcoin bank, right? right. Like a Bitcoin service of Anybody any Anybody can, and they are. Right. And the, you <laughs> just write, you write, write some software and you put it online. And mm -hmm. it's like... Sure, you have to comply with some regulations, but because it's all online and Bitcoin doesn't really know borders, mm -hmm. um, you can pretty much start anywhere you like. And that's, again, it's just lower barriers to entry, more competition. You actually don't even have to write your own software. There's several right. open source e-wallet packages now. A 13-year-old could open a bank, right. which is a little bit scary. But, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, it's but, true. I mean, look, if he's doing a good job, that's how he attracts that's customers. So like, there's a bit of selection there. So I it's know. not just anybody can open a bank and then people will all go there and lose right. money. It's like yeah. whoever does the best job is where people will go. Yeah. And that's what makes it good. Not, not when I was 11 or 13, I had a paper route. Actually, I had two paper routes. But see, if, it's, if Bitcoin had existed, I would own a bank. Right. Oh, man, I would be so rich. Did you see, um, <laughs> I think there was a, there's a project right now called uh, Lemonade Freedom or something, um, oh. where they're complaining that in uh, several states it's now illegal to do like this classic lemonade stand, little entrepreneur thing oh, where you, you take your kids and sell some lemonade. Of course it is. And yeah, and it was like some girl got arrested. And uh, then they started this project where they said, okay, we're going to defy this law. We're going to be a bit of uh, a civil disobedience because this just goes too far. You want to be able to, you know, if you can't do a lemonade stand legally anymore, mm -hmm. where is it where is What's this going? Gone, where, is, where have we gone wrong? Right. I know it's like the, the, the grandmother who was arrested for putting nickels. She would go around putting nickels in parking meters as a little, you know, paying it forward little gift to people to renew the meters that were going to expire. And she got arrested for it because it's illegal. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. 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 You mentioned open source software, so you know I was on here uh, promoting uh, the iPhone version. Yeah, and uh, I'm happy to say that there's some updates about that. Oh my gosh! So, is this an announcement? Uh, no, it's not an announcement. Oh, okay. It's an announcement oh. of an announcement. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> it's already out. So, oh, not exclusive. Uh, no. Uh, so okay. what, we're, what we've been doing uh, last week, I started uh, doing the actual interface for the iPhone thing, mm -hmm. and so it's like at a prototype state now. Oh yeah, this is the HTML5. The uh, it's the browser-based. Yes, wallet. yes, and we've got like the iPhone interface now, so you can you know get, go on. Um, mm. webcoin.ch not yet, not yet tomorrow <laughs> by the <laughs> time you see this maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and um, so yeah you can go on there and with your iPhone or Android phone mm -hmm. and it'll load sort of a, a browser based wallet but now it's a prototype so you know use with caution use on at your own risk play money um, only yeah. right we're gonna we're gonna officially launch it at some point where we think it's you know solid and everything so we're mm -hmm. still you know taking the server down right now it's down um, and putting it back up but as soon as it's stable we're definitely gonna let you know mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can look at it and see, let us know what you think. And uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about it tomorrow. Oh, great. So the, so the basic idea is that it's, a, it's actually a browser. It's not really an app, right? It's a browser-based app. Right. So, so it's just all you need is a browser. Right. When Apple uh, made the iPhone, they originally had, and you know, I'm not a total expert on iPhone history, but mm -hmm. I think what they originally planned for was that most apps would be like web apps. Mm -hmm. So they were really big in, in, on uh, HTML5. Mm -hmm. And so um, they built it pretty deep into the iPhone system. So you can go into a website and there's like, in, at the bottom middle, there's a button add to home screen. So you can install any website like an app. Oh, right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that functionality is still there, even though now there's the App Store and you know most apps go through there, mm -hmm. um, which the App Store didn't launch along with the iPhone, right? It launched later. Right. So and in the beginning, that was the only way to, to add apps. This was through mm -hmm. the web. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. And um, <laughs> yeah, and this, this functionality is still there. So you can sort of, if you don't get into the App Store, you can sort of use that route. Mm -hmm. And obviously you have some drawbacks, like we don't have the full you know, ability to run native code and mm -hmm. the performance that comes with that. Mm -hmm. But you can still run something that's a pretty solid uh, web, uh, sorry, a pretty solid Bitcoin client. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's So it, the, is the wallet stored locally or a, a central server? The, the wallet is stored locally. Locally. And, and how do you keep it from uh, <laughs> evaporating? How do, you, how do you store right. it securely? So what we do right now is just for the prototype, we just store it locally. So it's like if mm -hmm. you lose your phone, it's gone, right? Mm -hmm. So um, 
and that's just for right now. But last time I was on, I talked about deterministic wallets and so yeah. on. So the client is already set up for um, you know multiple wallets, different types of wallets. You know, mm -hmm. you can have like a savings wallet where you, on the phone you just have a read-only version, mm -hmm. so you can just sort of check the balance, see what's going on with that, mm -hmm. and uh, you can't spend any of it. Mm -hmm. Or you could have a server-supported wallet where you have to mm -hmm. do extra verification when you spend something. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of scenarios that that wow. we're going to support and. I think because we're an open source project, we're probably going to make it sort of a pretty open development model. So if you're out there and you're having, you know, Bitcoin businesses and you want to integrate with our wallet, you know, mm -hmm. just give us a call or give us an email. Mm, cool. And, um, yeah. This guy is so smart. <laughs> so, so smart. Thanks, Stefan. I, I can't take over. There's one more announcement I want to make. Oh, yes. What um, is it? So yeah. it's uh, that's uh, um, somebody else uh, asked me to make the announcement. So, Andrew, you know, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> so. Um, uh, he did a project uh, over the last week, sort of a little sprint side project, mm -hmm. and uh, it's called btc.io. And it's uh, basically a sort of a, a wallet a routing service or, or a payment routing service. Oh, I love that. I already saw it. Right. Somebody sent that to me. That's right. cool. So what it does is, you know how there's like tons of different wallet services now? Mm -hmm. And if you're a payment provider or you you're, we want to take payments, you don't want to you know, know about every wallet service and keep up to date with all of them. So you want to have one point where that redirects people to whatever wallet service they are using. Mm -hmm. So that's what btc.io is. So you can generate a URL at btc.io. Mm -hmm. You can you link your customers to it. Or if you're like a payment service, you can use these URLs. And then when people go there, they can select what client they have and it'll pass them onto the right point and then they can make their transaction. You know, basically remember, let me, I'm going to paraphrase it in my, my words. Please do. <laughs> Tell me if I'm right. Basically, it's almost like the URI that people have been wanting. They want like a standard type of link, like right. an, an HTML, whatever, uh, HTTP URL. So you can put a button and they can click it and it'll take them to this site, like a, a known trusted site. It's basically gonna say, which wallet do you use? You pick the wallet and it saves that information in your browser as a cookie. Mm -hmm. And then every time I hit pay with Bitcoin, it goes there and it knows that my preferred app, my right. preferred Bitcoin app or Bitcoin e-wallet or whatever. Right. And I, I, ref, I, I told Mark at Mt. Gox about it and he's on board, right? So right. what, what e-wallets are already on there now? Um, so uh, Andreas Schildbach has a, a really good uh, Android application, which I think is the best one right now. Mm -hmm. um, he's integrated it. Obviously, oh, yeah. obviously WebCoin's integrating with it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you know, we're talking to Mt. Gox. Mm -hmm. um, we've been talking to InstaWallet. With them, it's a bit more complicated because they don't have a cookie anymore. They right. have a, like the special URL. URL right. So if you link to them, obviously you're not coming on through the special URL, so they mm -hmm. don't know whose wallet it is. Yeah. So, but we're trying to figure out the solution there as well. So yeah, we're definitely integrating with as many oh. wallet services as possible. You can get vibanco, vibanco.com, get to get them on there too. All yeah, the, there's so many, well then BT Cinch was just here a second yeah, ago. Yeah, Flexcoin. Flexcoin, all, yeah. Yeah, Flex so. all of them, every one of them, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. there's so many starting over. Yeah, exactly. And and what, is the, what is the site again for that one? It's btc.io. Btc .io, yeah. And how do they contact you if they, want, if they have an e-wallet and they want to be added to your site? Um, I, I guess you can just email to info at bitcoinjs.org. And, um, info at bitcoinjs.org. Yes, and okay. I, would, I would pass it on to Andrew okay. and uh, he would okay. put it in. Cool, so exciting. We're going to hang out later. <laughs> yep. awesome. All right. Take care. Thanks for well. coming. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How you doing? All right. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Paul Mosquet, and uh, I represent Little Shop of Hardware in Baltimore, which is a brick and mortar computer store, mm -hmm. and CryptoAnarchy.com, which is an <laughs> online store that sells all kinds of things like little bumper oh, stickers. Course. Bumper stickers. And I don't have a car. Does it come with a car? No, <laughs> no, no not yet. BYOC. Not, not yet, but if you put it on your car, a lot of people will see it. I bet. And it, it does not advertise my own site. It advertises uh, Bitcoin.org. Cool. It's uh, strictly Bitcoin.org cool. branding. That, that is slick. It is uh, real uh, UV vinyl protected, so you can leave it on your car. It won't change color after It's like a secret months. society. <laughs> Can we get the voice, lost out, the voice down out there? It's like a secret society. I remember when, you know, in the early days, I used to have a rainbow flag on my bumper, so it's like a secret little gay club. And this is, I'll have rainbow on the right and Bitcoin on the left for all of our secret little societies. But that is so cool. Yeah. Oh, you're a Bitcoin person. And this one here is a QR code for Bitcoin.org. So oh, nice. If you place that out somewhere and then you scan it with your uh, QR code reader, it just That's took, so cool. and it directs you right there to yeah, Bitcoin.org. Bitcoin there you go. So you can spread the word with these as well. Do you, you print these yourself? I, you I, I have a, a large oh, order, so oh, I get cool. them by the thousands. Cool. So they're very inexpensive. That's uh, slick. 
like these are 50 cents each these are a dollar 50. you gotta give us a whole bunch of them samples and we'll sure. give them away until i've been handing them out actually oh, you already are. Oh, i've great, been handing great. them out everyone who comes cool. to my table gets cool. one nice um so the uh um when do you sell a little shop of, I want to say little shop of horror, but it's little, little shop of hardware. <laughs> little shop of hardware. What do you We're sell? A computer store. We do mostly repairs now, but okay. we've been in business since 1989, so mm -hmm. it's uh, been 22 years. You One sold the Apple uh, Apple II Plus? No, but we sold the <laughs> Commodore 64. Whoa, that's So, even, yeah, yeah, we're dating ourselves. We were the oh, last yeah. surviving Commodore dealer in uh, Baltimore, that, at oh. least that I know of. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we still have uh, all the technical services. You need an manuals. antique session, section. For we, <laughs> we sort of have one. We sort of have one. We have all the old Apples, mm. all the old Macintosh. I used to work in a, in a little retail Apple, I mean, uh, retail computer store because they didn't have Apple stores or anything at that time. And I remember we had the Apple Two Plus. We had the, oh, and then we, when the Lisa came out with the Lisa, and it was a ten thousand dollar thing, and nobody could touch it. And some somebody's child came in, and they they took something and they stuck it in the drive, and they broke the thing. And oh, I was like, no. oh my gosh. Yeah, well, those were more days. money than a car. I know. Back then. More money than a nice car. I know. I, I remember those. But crazy, crazy. But so that's really cool. Well, welcome. Thanks a lot. So glad you made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hand out those stickers to everybody. <laughs> I want some. Yeah. Come on in. Hi. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Good. I'm Hi, okay. Alice. Oh, you're Allison. I'm I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yes, I've seen you. I have you now. So you're representing the other gender. I see where you're a distinct right. ma minority around here. I know, I haven't Welcome. seen too many girls hanging about. There's Tony, I recognize that face. Yep. BitPay, That's right. you're the mascot for Bit BitPay. You could call me that. How do you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about, so tell us about your experience. I mean, do you, like, when did you hear about Bitcoin? Like, did you just learn about it or have you known about it for a while? I've known about it for just a little while, mm -hmm. and um, starting to work with BitPay, I mm -hmm. was introduced to the Bitcoin concept, which is very fun. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, so exciting. So I know when we, when we, when we uh, look at the logo and the banners and the video about BitPay, we yes. see you all over it. Yes. So what did you, like, um, how were you introduced to it? By BitPay? Is well, that how you were interested through in Tony. To Bitcoin? Through Tony, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's an evangelist. Yep, cool, he's taught me everything cool. that I need to know about spending my bitcoins. Uh, so, well, are you holding on to some too as an investment? I sh well, I'm, I've got some to spend. I'm planning uh -huh. on using them here at the show, but mm -hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to a couple also. Cool. Are you getting paid in bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> not, yet, say, not yet. I would say I accept bitcoin only. And I spend dollars but only, but I accept bitcoin only. So. You know, that's it. So we get rid of the dollars. Right. Hold on to the Bitcoin. Yeah, well, I guess through BitPay, I could be paid that way because yeah. we can transfer it to dollars or Bitcoins, whatever is easier, you know, for the merchant to use. So we do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You still kind of have to accept dollars. <laughs> yeah. But the good thing is it's easier and easier to buy Bitcoin with it. I know, which is very fun. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for having yeah, us. Sure. Thanks for being here. Yeah. So exciting. All right. We're going to hang out tonight and uh, tomorrow you're going to be there early. I'm going to be there whenever you say to get yeah, there. Yeah, so. we're, we're, we're going to be here from like 6 to 7 a.m. getting everything ready. We're going to be over there like at 7 a.m. and then the, the thing officially starts at 8. It's going to be exciting. Okay, cool. Conversations 24-7. Welcome. So, All right. So thank happy you you're so here. much. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right I'll see Thanks you later. Okay. Hey. How's it going? Come in. Who's next? <laughs> That's it. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Look at that, three minutes to spare. I can't believe we got through everybody. Who <laughs> so, um, so, so exciting. Thanks you guys for uh, joining us on our little uh, pre-conference uh, day before episode. And uh, if you're coming tomorrow, you're in for a big, big show because we're gonna have so many people that, actually a lot of people couldn't make it today, but everybody, almost everybody's gonna be here tomorrow. And that's the big, big vendor venue at uh, Vanderbilt Hall at the Roosevelt Hotel. Like, officially starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So exciting. And we're going to be streaming it live, so make sure you go to onlyonetv.com and, and click on the live button. There's two live feeds, by the way. There's the, there's the live feed, and then there's another one called the, the mobile cam. Make sure you watch both of them. Keep them open, both tabs, 
Um, you're gonna see lots of live streaming here. And then of course, tons of people just follow Twitter. Uh, what's our hashtag? Hashtag Bitcoin 11? Eleven, yeah. Hashtag B I T C O N one one on Twitter. So follow that, and the, the conference will be tweeted, and um, all the live streaming. You can probably just go to Twitter. And you're gonna see. I mean, if you're if you're gonna. By the way, if you are gonna live stream the conference, make sure you tweet about it and put in hashtag bit, uh, Bitcon twenty eleven B I T C O N eleven so that everybody can find your streams, and there'll be lots of um, live streaming to choose from. And of course, everything's going to be recorded. We have an app. If you go to bitcoinconference.com, all lowercase bitcoinconference.com, on the right-hand column, you'll see a, a web app that is actually um, optimized for mobile, for Android and iPhone. And you can actually, you'll be able to see a lot of media there. As more and more media is recorded and given to us, we're passing it through to the, mobile, to the app developer, and they're putting it online. So during the conference and after the conference, there'll be even more media thousands of photos, videos, mp3 audio video uh, interviews and so on. So uh, very, 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 very exciting. And there's gonna be huge announcements tomorrow. Uh, I know of many of them already. So you're gonna be shocked. This is gonna rock the Bitcoin world. So uh, thanks so much for joining us and we will see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.